in this video, we'll be taking a look at Outer Space by Audio Thing. In emulation of a classic vintage tape echo, we'll be taking a look at various different features on this plugin, how we can use it to add a variety of different tape echo effects, as well as adding a reverb effect, and also diving into some of the under the hood features and browsing through some of the presets the plugin has to offer. I have an instance of Outer Space loaded onto my percussion bus channel here. And I have my free percussion sounds. Let's have a look at this mode selector and explore the different modes that we have available. And you can see as I switch through them, different heads become active. creating a variety of different effects, either reverb and echo, or just echo alone. Or reverb on its own. Go back to one of the reverb echo effects now. Let's take a look at this send. I've increased the intensity quite high, so we get a longer decay on the delay. This send control is known as the dub switch, so when set to off, the echo section will not receive any input, but will continue to play any repetition or self-oscillating sounds. So we can get a really cool effect by setting the switch to off as the delay has started, and we get that dubby style echo. Set the echo unit to tempo sync now. Let's have a look at some of the under the hood features that we get with Outer Space by clicking this more drop down option. We're already in high quality mode. This is heavy on the CPU but more accurate and smooth when you automate parameters. I'm going to activate the limiter now as well. This enables a soft clip limiter on the output and is useful for when you're using quite extreme settings of the effect and you're worried about the output level peaking too high. This will keep things in check. Take a look at this snare now. I have a bus channel set up with an instance of outer space on the bus. I've also sent a signal from the snare into this bus channel. I can turn this instance of outer space on now. And let's activate the reverb only now and turn up the reverb volume. Applying outer space on a bus channel in this way, we can just set this wet only switch to on, meaning we're not gonna get any of the dry signal in our bus channel. Just the reverb effect. We get an EQ included in outer space, but not by default will it affect the reverb we go to this more drop down and add the EQ to reverb and now we can EQ our reverb effect. Take it down the treble for a deeper sound. We can also tweak the decay from short to long. We also have a noise control down here. We can add a bit of noise to this signal for a bit more of a gritty old school flavour. We can add an envelope to this noise to control the tail.
I'm going to bring this vocal into our group now. And turn on this instance of outer space that we have loaded on the vocals. And let's dive into some of the presets that come with this plugin. With a preset like Long Cliffs, we hear that really familiar classic dub style echo. Let's try tweaking the repeat rate. we've got a number of presets that give us a great starting point for our effect that we can then go and quickly tweak to create a variety of different classic vintage tape echo sounds. Be sure to check out Outer Space by Audio Thing, which is available now at adsrsounds.com.